cheers to our new home. Previously on Living Off Grid. Welcome back to another episode here on Blackfish Hollow. I'm standing in our yurt with the side, with the roof, with windows, halfway done. <laughs> and we have one window in so far, not counting the fabric windows because those are already pre-made inside the side cover. But we have a one glass window in. It's really nice. Look how smooth that is. Oh, it's so nice. The view is nice. Jake is lighting a fire out there and I can see it. Maybe you guys can see it too. Way over there. But today, I mean, we're pretty much done. Um, and I'm sure we're gonna finish today because all we have to do is just put these windows in. We have three windows to put in and the dome and that's it. Yay! The dome, I'm very interested to see how we're gonna get the dome part on there. They have it obviously in the manual step by step, but should be interesting. It's not very heavy. All the heavy stuff is done, which is good. <laughs> so, oh, but it looks so good. And look at this natural lighting, guys. Oh my God. I'm like glowing in here. Hello. <laughs> it's beautiful. Did it work? No, because it's a spiral staircase. Spiral? Do you know how to make it a spiral staircase? I can go again. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? My face. On what? <laughs> oh man. Uh, like a spiral staircase, you just go down the steps as you spin. Oh, okay. That was terrible. I've never done a spiral staircase let me, before. Let me show you. Okay, let's see it. Right. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> that was good, babe. Okay, elevator. <gasps> what? Very nice. Okay, see ya. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's put this window in. Got the top, yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, together, square, not on an angle, but straight in. Hold on. Okay. Okay, bottom is in. Yeah. Just hold that and I'll come in there and we'll work together. Okay, so we'll both. You hold on to this so it doesn't drop out. Watch your finger. I'm like a baby. I 
we got it. Anyway, that's perfect. Right True, there. I know. Okay. Okay, together on the top. You and I have been waiting for a long time yeah. to put the, the dome on the top of the yurt. Yeah. Thanks. The dome is like the last official piece. I feel like it's the like the tip of Everest. Like you don't want to go to base camp and all the different stages of the Everest climb without putting your finger on the top of the mountain, you know. So this is like the top of the mountain for us and it's like the it's like the candles on top of the birthday cake. Yeah. That's kind of like a birthday cake. <laughs> it's like the finishing topper. It's gonna tie it all together. And a friend of mine who's in Scottsdale, Arizona, just asked me if I want to come climb Mount Everest with her. Do you want to come climb Mount Everest? Heck yeah, just Would to the come? base camp. Would you come? Yeah, just hike to base camp. So do you want to see Nicole and I in, not like right now, but at some point in the future, go hit up base camp Mount Everest together? So Pacific Yurt's suggestion is to lay a blanket or cardboard on the top cover on the roof to protect the dome when sliding it into position. Working from scaffolding or a stepladder in the center of the yurt, toss a strong cord or a rope to a helper who is outside the perimeter of the yurt and have them tie it to the two eye bolts inside of the dome and have the person at the perimeter set the dome on the blanket or cardboard so you can pull the dome up the roof of the yurt to the center ring then remove the cord. What should we do? We should do that. <laughs> okay, let's do that's it. That's what they said. <laughs> All right. Then that's how it should be done. Okay. <laughs> Got it? Yep. All we're gonna do is we're gonna just, it's not gonna get tangled. Just tent it up against the, the yurt. Good. Now all you do is you gotta hold it right there. Now, it's, it's, it's a weird heaviness. Look, since the bulb goes out, it could easily drop off your hand and go this way. So okay. hold your arms out. Okay. You gotta increase that angle. Good. Just hurry. It's heavy. Don't. Let go. Okay. Do not let go. I'm not gonna let go. Let me know when it's uh, when it's taut. Okay, it's taut. Okay, so can you push it up past the threshold of the corner? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Just get the edge of the dome past the. Yeah. Perfect. There it goes. Hold on. I'm gonna loop it so I can't. Okay, can you push higher? 
Can you, what step are you on? Can you go one step higher without? Yes, hold on. Okay, keep pulling. Yep. Okay, keep pulling. Okay, it's more than halfway. Okay, keep going. Okay, I got it now. I got okay, it. I don't have it anymore. I got it. Is it pretty light? Well, I'm <laughs> actually nervous if the rope is going to take the weight. It looks like you're close. Okay, as soon as I have this attached, then it means that we successfully are not going to drop this thing. Hey, I just attached it. That means it's not going to drop. Hey. Good job. We are officially closed in. We are closed in like a submarine. Oh my god! <laughs> a spider jumped out of that spring onto my hand. Okay, it's so clear that it doesn't even look like there's a dome on top here. It's like, it's like a Tesla Model X with that IMAX style of view. And uh, when I twist this guy, check it out. This is the coolest thing ever. We're gonna have a big long stick that Pacific Yurts provided us so that from the ground we can just insert the stick into this uh, little slot here and open it, get some hot air to go out there and fresh air to come in and close it up. And swanky, babe, swanky. What did you do here on the floor? <laughs> um, we will picnic in our finished yurt! Yay! <laughs> what is in these white boxes? We got some <sighs> local pizza. They just got delivered to us right now. From, if you've watched our previous episode, you've seen uh, one of the neighbors multiple acres away. If you give her um, advance notice, they do pizza and we... Yeah. Just figured, let's let the expert Homemade do it. pizza, and we knew that we were gonna finish the yurt today, so we decided to do pizza tonight, and a bottle of wine to celebrate our success, because you gotta celebrate the little things, even though this wasn't a little thing at all. <laughs> it's pretty grandiose, but... Um, well, thank you to our lovely neighbors for the amazing pizza, so delicious, even yes. vegan cheese on there. Yeah. And thank you so much for being the best partner to mm -hmm. build this with. Yeah. This is only the beginning. Like really? Yeah. Now the adventure really begins. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're so good at that. I know. <laughs> Cheers to our new home and new beginnings and yeah. Cheers. Cheers you guys. Thanks for watching. Mm. And subscribe because it's only gonna get better from here and there's so much more planned and it's just gonna be amazing, an amazing journey. It's gonna be animals. Animals. It's gonna be garden. <gasps> Can I get a cat now?
Yes. <laughs> Are you going to adopt this cat? Yes, of course. <laughs> finished yurt it's beautiful oh, I love it I cannot wait to move in and I cannot wait to start decorating the inside but first we need steps to get into the yurt <laughs> because what we were doing before was not working um, so yeah so that's what I'm gonna be doing today Jake is working on cross bracing underneath the yurt to secure it even more I'm gonna be making steps out of pallets because we have so many pallets and it's all we can do right now until we build the patio. Let me show you. So here's some of the palettes I'm gonna use. This palette, this is what we were using before and it was just not working out very well, obviously. And we have some more palettes over here. And I also have to clear some of these sticks out of the way. Eventually we're gonna clear this whole driveway and this will be the permanent driveway that we use to drive up on. But for right now, I'm just gonna clear a little bit for our steps. My nice new gloves that I love so much. Today was definitely a spring cleaning kind of day. Jake and I cleaned up all the wood around the yurt, 
cleaned up all the plastic that it came in, cleaned up all the wrapping, everything, and like made it all look nice. And we're burning everything here with, oh, I just cut my face out. We're burning all the extra wood and all the cardboard and everything there. So it's just been a spring clean day. And now we're gonna make some delicious burritos. Um, we're feeling Mexican and it's Cinco de Mayo today, so it's perfect. So yay. How is it? It's fantastic. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> look, mm. there's our home right behind you. Mm. How's it look? It's beautiful. 